Hey guys, we're here with another division sponsor for Desert Brutality 2019. This is Mario from Lee Armory. How's it going, guys? And I was hoping you could tell us a little bit, or a little bit the audience, about what you're doing with Lee Armory and why you're sponsoring Desert Brutality. So, like Carl said, my name is Mario. I'm the shop manager at Lee Armory. Uh, we're AK manufacturers, uh, and we build collapse pattern rifles. Um, we have a great line of series of rifles. One of them that's oh, just yeah. been picked up by MSR Distribution. Uh, we are the first nice. domestic AK brand that they have carried, uh, other than Mola and Arsenal. And that'll be our military classic version of line of series of rifles that we have. There are virgin kits coming in from Walmart, uh, imported by M plus M. We are doing final machining, building, and assembly. Uh, great rifles. We're trying to keep as much as original Romanian parts on them as possible. Of course, we have to be 922 R compliant. Yep. So your 922 R compliant parts will be your pistol grip, magazine, uh, trigger, and break. And yes. you're doing like made in America shitty cast trunnions that'll break, right? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen those. We've seen those. Yes, we have. No, <laughs> these are forged Romanian military grade parts. Awesome. Forged trunnion, forged bolt, original Romanian chrome hammer forged barrel as well. Uh, so you're getting a lot of quality, a lot of bang for your buck. MSRP on these guns is eight ninety nine. Oh, okay. And you know what's one of the funny things I've always said with two gun and desert brutality is that the match should be designed to be capable of being completed with an AK because it is still a yes. viable fighting rifle. Yes. And so you're bringing those to the market. Of course. Yeah. And we also sighted our rifles at two hundred yards. Excellent. So before you, you know, when you get your rifle in your box, it is ready to go to two hundred yards. Holy crap! You wait. can take it out and it just works, right? But, but wait, wait, yes. is the front sight like all the way over here? <laughs> no. Uh oh. Okay. The, the drum is centered. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah. That's a nice plus. Whoa. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're standing here on the stage with the the wobbly platform. Yes. Okay. And the clay pigeons. Yes. When we shot this, in our conclusion, you were talking about you thought maybe we could do better if we had a select fire rate. I was thinking, you know, the Soviet doctrine was to pretty much keep it on auto and do short bursts. That was their doctrine with the AKM. Yeah. And when I was shooting at these clays, there's a little bit enough recoil that you're moving around. It was kind of hard to keep that front sight on the target. Well, you know what, guys? I, ha I have something for you guys here today. Do you know? Well, yes. Uh, we're talking about these military classics, and uh, I just happen to have one with an extra pin and an extra selector mark on it. Well, Let's find out if it's a truth or not. You're on. I don't think it'll be better. You don't think it'll make a difference? I think it'll be a lot more fun and a lot harder <laughs> to hit. Fun's better, too. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Let's go for it. All right, Ian. Load up on full auto and see what it's like to neutralize those clays. Clay, steel, clay, steel. I am out of ammo. That was not easier for you. I don't think that helps. <laughs> you want to try it? I'll give it a try. All right, so I shot a Romanian AKM in semi-auto on this same target. Let's go full auto. Why does this thing move so much? It is not easier. <laughs> Something to be said about um, suppression fire, though. <laughs> 